Hi, as you probably know, some products do not look their best in e-commerce photos when they're placed directly on a white sheet of paper. Light colored objects or objects with shiny parts, such as the metal parts in this cork remover, can actually be brighter than the background itself. That means that if you want to retain detail in the product, you will probably have to underexpose the white paper somewhat. And that may mean that your shadow areas may become unappealing. In post-production, you can push the background to pure white, but you will probably have to mask out parts of the object. As an alternative, you may want to consider a different approach at the capturing stage. In this example, for the overhead shot of this product, I've decided to put the product on a sheet of glass. And the white paper background is several centimeters below the glass sheet. The background will be lit by that speed light to my right and to your left. And there is a cardboard placed here so that the product is shielded from most of the light coming from that speed light. A second speed light will actually be lighting a large reflector, which is currently not in this correct position. I will place it against this crossbar so that a beam of light will reflect back onto the product. This setup will give you a clean white background while keeping all the detail in the product, provided of course that your two speed lights are correctly balanced. That will require a little bit of trial and error, but once it's dialed in, you will get a more appealing image with less work in Photoshop. As you can see, you can set up something like this in a relatively small space, even at home. You also don't need a lot of expensive studio equipment, just a few speed lights, a tripod, maybe some light stands, a reflector or something that can act as a reflector. Other stuff like the sheet of glass you may already have lying around the house and that will suffice to do the trick. As always, I hope this was of use to you. If you have questions, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.